Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 402. I, no, 403. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. And we have an episode for you this week. Yes? Um, in all honesty, there's nothing much to the news. We have a few. It's been a really slow news week. So let's hop right into it. So, oh, changing the cameras. So, first news is. Uh, Amazon list Transformers Friendship in Disguise official comic for pre-order. So if you guys got no idea, uh, last week I reported that uh, IDW made a crossover comic uh, involving Transformers and My Little Pony. And what else? Um, it's going to be released in May, if I'm not mistaken. May or April. Somewhere around that. But those are on a weekly basis if I remember right or on a monthly basis I'm not 100% sure how but uh, this one here uh, is going to be released on November 3rd and this is going to be priced at $15.99 uh, this is the whole uh, as they say trade paperback where you get the whole collection in one book so you don't have to wait for a weekly basis or monthly basis I, I'm not 100% sure but what we know is uh, uh, the amount page blah blah blah. Uh, it includes four issues, so that's huge. Or there's a lot. I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, I'm just assuming that this is its own comic series, so that's always good. And you can hit it up on Amazon. And if you go to Amazon, yes, it says uh, paper bag, fifteen ninety nine, sixteen dollars. Um, some of the things that we mentioned before. Then product details, it's going to be 96 pages, published by IDW, going to be released on November 3rd, 2020. And language is English. And yeah, that's about it. I mean, there's nothing much I can say about it for now because the product is not in my hand. So yeah, just have to wait and see. So let's move on to the next news. And next news is... Uh, My Little Pony Movie 2 Generation 5 UK, Netherlands and Turkey release date reveal Hmm, that's fascinating So, over in the European continent uh, A theatre called From my Vune I'm not 100% sure So, uh, when we go to this site uh, it's asking us, uh, you know what? No, I'm, I'm not going to accept your cookies. I don't like your cookies. So anyway, um, over on this site where you can technically buy movie tickets, they are stating that uh, it's going to be released on 15 October 2021. Um, that is the UK release date. Uh, over in the Netherlands, it's October 13, 2021. And in Turkey... Is uh, October twenty second, twenty twenty one. So we got no idea what it is. We we know that the second big screen My Little Pony movie. That doesn't sound right. Second, My Little Pony, technically, it would be the third big screen movie because uh, G one had its thing. Uh, unless that didn't came out to theaters. I'm so confused right now. But anywho. Uh, the quote-unquote Generation 5 movie will be out next year. What we know about it so far is that G5 is... Or the second movie is going to be the jump up of, jump off point for the fifth generation. So that is going to be the first movie, the first appearance. And then that will lead into its own series. Um, I'm guessing they're going to try and gauge it that way. <sighs> In all honesty, I got no idea uh, how or what it is. From what info and leaks or whatever it is that I know and have, is that we are going to s- still have the same characters as we have now, but some of the races are going to be changed a bit. Uh, like Fluttershy is going to be a unicorn Twilight is going to be an earth pony if I remember right Pinkie Pie will be a Pegasus and the rest of the crew will still stay the same Uh, it will change the dynamic of the movie but I got no idea if 
that's what it is. I, I don't know. There's a lot of uncertainty, uh, but still we have 2021 to look forward for it. And probably by that time, we're going to have a lot of trailers and whatnot. So anywho, <coughs> um, the UK, Turkey, and Netherlands have release dates, so yay, uh, probably the US will be somewhere around October earlier, first week probably, who knows. But that is for the future, and if the show still goes on, we will report on it. And moving on to the last news, them fighting hurts official soundtrack now on Steam. So, um, Them Fighting Hurts is a game. How do I put this? Okay. Back in the days, there was a game called My Little Pony Fighting is Magic. Uh, it was done by a group of people, of fans, who really love fighting games and really love My Little Pony. So, they created the game and it was really awesome. But Hasbro C and D them, uh, cease and desist. So with that, they kind of stop, but not wanting to let the project die or go to waste. They develop or they wanted to develop their own spin-off or own title, and with that, they started working. Lauren Faust came into the picture gave them character designs and we got well the iconic characters for them fighting herds from Arizona to Pomp to um, Tov mm, I forgot the name but uh, anywho uh, we, we got that and the game is out on Steam I think it's on early access or something like that and it has run the convention floor for fighting games so them fighting herds is a really really good fighting game it works on the Marvel system, the Marvel uh, Marvel Tree or the Sonoko system, where it's low, medium, high, and special. So the game is quite fun. Now the soundtrack is available online, and the soundtrack is really good. And it is available on Steam for ten dollars, and it includes twenty-two soundtrack and. Yeah, if you go to the Steam page, um, granted my Steam page is in my local currency, which is twenty three dollars or twenty three ringgit and fifty cents, and yeah, it's all here. It's all here, and they do updates a lot. Like they post updates on the page or on their YouTube channel, saying that yo, we're working on this, or they show tournament footage that they capture at tournaments like uh, Evo. Or um, Dream Kate, I, I I forgot. But yeah, there's a lot of music here to catch. Like I I am a backer. They did a Kickstarter for it, so I I back them. And in all honesty, it is worth the money for you to go buy the game. It's what I think it should be under twenty bucks. Let's see. Uh, thirty. Two to the two ringgit would be around ten bucks, probably nineteen twenty. So yeah, you should go get it. The game is a lot of fun. The game is a lot of fun. And with that, that is the news for this week. I don't have much news, or I haven't checked any since stuff. But let's see. Uh, do we have any more news to cover? So no, no. No, I don't think so. There's no new news for the week. So yeah. But anywho, uh, let's move on to the next topic. And that is what have I been doing with my week. Oh boy, that's bright. So, um, my week has been pretty okay. Sorry for the brightness. Need to open some stuff to read later on. And where was I? Yes, uh, week's been pretty okay. Uh... A few, I did a few things, and some of those things are kind of interesting. Uh, let's see. You have a second, eh, folks? Uh, okay, I'm going to click on this one, then I'll click this one again. All right, then, give me a second. So, yeah, week has been pretty interesting. Um, 
one of the few things that I did was watch a movie and check out something on my phone. I have an iPhone and I check out the ringtone features and it was on uh, sorry yeah ringtone features and get ringtones or get more ringtones something like that so that piqued my interest and I take a look see at it and what I discovered was it was full of pirated stuff <laughs> um, I'm not 100% sure if it's pirated or not but while scrolling through ringtones I noticed that a lot of them are pretty crappy okay obviously you got your top 10s or top 20s or top 40 chart music whatever it is then you got your children's song then you got the odd anime songs and here's the thing I create my own ringtones on my phone and I know how to make it sound nice or cut it to a point where okay this is where I want it to start and this is where I want it to end and I don't want to end I don't want it to end abruptly so I'm gonna do a fade out at the end of the song so it ends naturally and when it pops back up so on so some of the people that do this here are just like snipping stuff and just throwing it there um, even there's a five second clip of a s quote being said by some character and they sold it for buck and I'm thinking wow you are you guys are just making bank on some of this stuff like you're not even putting in quality you're just doing whatever's hot right now so yeah man that that that, that is just meh so, you know, honestly, that just piqued my interest and just I take a look-see. A lot of baby sharks in there. Then, yeah, I didn't bought any because some of them are crap. Like, 8 seconds for 1 buck? 30 seconds for 1 buck? I don't mind it because if it's a good quality, I'll probably consider it. But at the same time, too, I can make my own ringtones. And I thought to myself, this is not for me. This is for the people who can't really make their own. Like they, they, they are users who don't know how to make their own ringtones, uh, want to have a customizable ringtone, they don't want to use the default ringtone. And yeah, I highly understand, I get it, I can respect your decision and so on for me it's just not for me and the second thing on the list is I watched a movie I mentioned it a few times now so the movie I watched was Sonic the Hedgehog movie I watched it on Valentine's Day there was the release date technically and boy was it fun the movie give me a second oh okay I just gotta address the elephant in the room why with the mask I'm trying to avoid the virus. Yes. Yes. But anyway, I have a shave, so I look like a mess. So, yeah. Gonna cover that up a bit. So, anyway, movie. Sonic the Hedgehog. Ooh, really now? 13 minutes? Anyway, um, Sonic the movie. Yes. It was a lot of fun. It was... Hmm. Okay. I'm not a... I'm not a heavy or big uh, hardcore... Sonic the Hedgehog fan I'm moderate I know a bit of it I know some lore uh, not all of it I highly enjoy the animated cartoon Sonic Boom it was funny I like it the character design I, I think it worked for that universe but in all honesty uh, the movie itself it was interesting they start off with highlighting that okay Sonic lives in this universe where uh, it's similar to uh, Green Hill Zone Act 1 where there's a lot of loopy loops and so on like most uh, first level of Sonic and when we first are introduced to the character 
we are introduced to Baby Sonic, where he can really run fast, and he's 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 just a kid. He has a guardian named Longclaw, which is an owl who takes care of him, but because of his shenanigans, uh, he got separated from Longclaw, and now is traveling from universe to universe using the coins or the rings. The rings themselves, when you first think about rings in Sonic, they're just currency, not really currency, they're just kind of like uh, things to collect while having some quote-unquote invisibility shield when you get hit, because when you get hit, all the ring drops off, you collect them again, so it's kind of a one-up kind of thing, not really one-up, but kind of a safety net. But over here in the movie, they use that thing in the bonus zone in End of Sonic 1 where, okay, uh, you go into a big giant ring, you get ported to another universe. Uh, usually the bonus zone where you just get roll around in some kind of puzzle thingy. But in the movie, it's just a teleporter where you get to go to other worlds. So basically, not really other world. It's just like wherever you think you're going, just think where you're going, and it will open. So if I throw the ring and thinking of I want to go to Silver's house, boop, it will open, and I can go to Silver's house, and so on. It was, but overall, uh, movie's not bad. It was a lot of fun. It's a buddy cop road trip movie where two guys and. Just two guys go to have fun. Uh, in honesty, this was a fun movie. I got really excited at the few little things or few little details I saw. Uh, make me want to go get the shoes that was given to Sonic in the movie. Like, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Other than that, uh, would I recommend you go watch the movie? Yeah, it is a lot of fun. I do wish that they will make a second movie out of this. But unfortunately, the animation company that redid Sonic's design or did the Sonic redesign got closed down, which is kind of sad. But there's a little twinge in my mind thinking that how would Sonic look like if it was the original design that was quote-unquote shown off first and a lot of fans scream and moan and just say that, oh my god, this is the most horrible thing I've ever seen in my life. So, yeah, th th that part always made me wonder. And I do hope that they at least put it in the DVD Blu-ray as a special addition to it because okay we as human beings are curious to see what are the difference between A and B we are given the, sorry they wanted to show us the original Sonic design or the original concept for the Sonic movie character but since we complain a lot or we show our dissatisfaction they did the redesign the redesign is thousand times better than what we had and I'm happy for it but now I really want to know how does the other one look like because I said I'm curious we, we as human beings are really curious so I do hope that we get that in the DVD special like the Sonic that could have been or whatever it is and we'll laugh at it or we're just, we will just say, oh my god, uh, it will look terrible. It's a good thing that they go for the redesign. So yeah, um, I, I highly enjoyed it. So yeah, I will say this. Go and check it out if you can. And I think that's about it for me. So anywho, let's move on to the next thing and that's the wrap up. So if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the gmail.com. 
You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on Polyvive dot com. Links are in the show notes. And also do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Torterra, reviewing the Pony Comics, episodes, and special such movies. Sometimes we like to do other things other than movies. And the one that we did recently was about comic books or was it video games? I don't remember. There's a lot of things that we talk about. So... Do go check us over there and also do give us a positive feedback. Yay! So if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. With every support, you get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Amy, Jeffrey, uh, and Tristan and also myself like thank you so much guys you are great anyway I have been Norman Sanzo and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of this show see ya